Hello and welcome to St. Mary's Now, a partnership between the Enterprise newspaper and the Four Center TV video production program. I'm Raymond Graham. And I'm James King. And here's the latest news from the Enterprise. The 17-year-old Mechanicsville boy allegedly brought a loaded handgun to a Leonardtown basketball game on Friday night. Choptecon High School student Samuel Tony Bryan, 17, was arrested at Friday's basketball game after staff were alerted to a group that juveniles that smelled like marijuana. In an assistant principal's office, Bryant was searched and a 9mm Luger handgun was located in his right shorts pocket concealed under jeans he was wearing. Further inspection of the handgun revealed that the handgun had one live round and it was chambered. Bryant was charged as an adult with possession of a firearm as a minor. He is currently being held without bond pending a bail review on Tuesday afternoon. During Thursday's meeting in the Annapolis House Office Building, a Great Mills High School graduate and freshman at St. Mary's College of Maryland told members of March for Our Lives why she became involved in the Maryland chapter. Jackson O'Mara, state director of the chapter, said she joined in March 2018. It was after her classmate, classmate Jalen Rose Willie, 16, was shot and killed by Austin Rollins, 17, who also injured then 14-year-old Desmond Barnes before killing himself. It's been a life changer for our community, O'Mara said. On January 16th, she and members of the Maryland March for Our Lives went to the state capitol to lobby gun control bills that they believe will prevent similar situations from happening again. 30 individuals are ready to wear their badges and provide protection to Southern Maryland after six months and 10 days of training at the Southern Maryland Criminal Justice Academy. The latest graduates were honored at commencement exercises held Saturday at Huntingtown High School. The session recruits have joined one of the region's three sheriff offices, 12 with Charles, 10 with St. Mary's, and 8 with Calvary. St. Mary's County Sheriff Tim Cameron told the new officers to never forget that you can make a difference after congratulating and handing them their diplomas. A professor and political analyst told an audience Monday morning inside St. Mary's College of Maryland's Campus Center to ask themselves three things when thinking about serving. Do you want to serve? How do you serve? And what's the best way to serve others? Jason Johnson, professor at Morgan State University, editor of TheRoot.com, and contributor to MSNBC, was the keynote speaker at the college's 16th annual Southern Maryland Martin Luther King Jr. Prayer Breakfast. He said when people think about, when people talk about King service rather, they don't talk about what that means today. People are often discouraged from serving because they equate it to the level of making a historical speech or leading a march across the Edmund Pettus Bridge in Alabama. But Johnson said serving can come in different forms. Early on in Friday night's Southern Maryland Athletic Conference Chesapeake Division game at Great Mills High School, the Hornets' unblemished record appeared in jeopardy with the host trailing by double digits to the visiting Calvert Cavaliers. We've had a real slow start and we're in the hole by nine points after the first quarter, Great Mills head coach Matt Woods said. After trailing by as many as 11 points in the opening frame, the Hornets trailed 15-6 after the first quarter before a strong effort in the second quarter tied the game at a 16-point break. On Thursday, the Raiders entered a dual meet at St. Mary's College of Maryland's Michael P. O'Brien Athletics and Recreation Center's Aquatic Center in St. Mary's City to compete against North Point with an undefeated squad where the boys and the girls teams had not lost all season. The Eagles boys swim team prevailed with a 146 to 132 victory over the Raiders. On the girls side, the Raiders remained unbeaten with a 176.5 to 97.5 win over North Point on Thursday. Today there were two undefeated teams and Leonardtown obviously is always a perennial powerhouse. We had to come with our A game to swim to win. I definitely think there is still room for improvement, says Jeff Rivenberg, Berg rather, the head coach of the Eagles. This news brief has been provided by the Enterprise. For more details, visit SOMDnews.com. That's what we have for you in this edition of St. Mary's Now. I'm Raymond Graham. And I'm James King. Signing off.